Welcome to Paris 22 guys. So this mistake I made in Paris, I do not want any of my viewers or any of my travelers to make the same mistakes. So these are very, very important five top things you should make sure you do when you're in Paris or even before you go. Guys, the first one is very, very important. Prepare, prepare before you travel. Do your research. Your research is very, very important. Then the second one, transportation in Paris is amazing but you have to know the best transport for you I believe you're going to Paris as a tourist so this guy here will be your best go-to it's very very important you can get this I'll definitely talk about it so that's number two number three excursions around Paris because you could spend a whole day in Paris doing a session so what you need to do is power adopter we'll talk about that that's number three stitching let me give you number four and five and you know number four is very very important you know language is a barrier for everyone try to learn some phrases you know these phrases are very very important it will help you to navigate your way around Paris so for example you're in a restaurant you know just saying thank you in French will make a big difference and the final one the final one mobile everybody need data you know I don't know if you're traveling from the UK or US I know a lot of people have roaming these days but there's shops everywhere there's corner shops everywhere you can get a sim card in Paris this sim card allow you to roam all over Europe you know there's some sim cards that I would recommend I'm not saying you should get it these are my top five things you should know before going to Paris I'll add a bit of information but you need to stay and watch the video to get those important tips well let's dive into the video like I said before before you go to Paris this is very very important I don't know where you're traveling from but majority of the countries require visa uh, to uh, France Paris um, they are in the European Union so Schengen is a visa that required but most of the countries also allow uh, to enter the country free for example UK uh, you don't need a visa to enter Paris so let's get in so the first thing first guys research have you done your research do you know where you're going this is very very important let's say you want to travel to Paris you know do you know you can get a cheap train ticket during the week do you know that if you don't know that well that's a tip for you do your research where you want to go where you want to go make sure you buy some tickets do some reservations in advance and when you do these reservations make sure you leave yourself a little bit time to wander around Paris so for example let's say you want to visit Eiffel Tower let's say you want to visit around 11 you know 11 is perfect time you know let's say your tour is about one hour you have the rest of the day to enjoy Paris so make sure you do a few reservations you know don't don't let your five-day tour you know cramp into reservation you'll be stressed out you'll be stressed out you know sometimes it's good to just book maybe few reservations and let the rest play a part like for example Parisians are good you can just walk into a cafe you know if there's a table they'll let you a seat and then you can enjoy a cup of coffee that's very important that's number one that's number one let's get to the number two the number two transportation is very very good you know Paris buses train Metro is amazing but do you know getting this is so much easier you know once you get this card you actually feel like you're Parisian you know this card you can get it as soon as you arrive at the train station you know you can ask any of the the agent or any of the officers at the station you can ask them where to get this but look for the information I think the stairs down will take you guys to the train station you know I'll try to see if I could get a video to where to get uh, this this pass this pass is very very important you can use this pass on the metro on the buses and you can use it almost everywhere you can't use it to pay though and you can also I think upload this on your app it's very, very important you can download if you use an Android app I believe you can download the app and also purchase tickets before you get to Paris it's very very important because you know the transport system is so cheap 
it's so cheap so i strongly recommend you get one of these because you can upload money you can uh, keep it and use it anytime you travel to paris it's very very important yeah so that's number one number two i mean that's number two transportation well let's get to number three number three is very very important number three adopter phone everybody need phone you need phone for information you need phone for everything you need phone to retrieve your ticket so you need power adopter guys it's very very important that you have your power adopter you have your phone is charged with you you know the reason why you need a power adapter for example let's say you out all day and your battery ran out one you can't speak french and you need to charge your phone guys your power adapter if you have this you know you can boost your phone with 10 minutes you retrieve your ticket you find your direction you should be able to use google maps or map on your phone to get to your destination to get to your bus stop it's very very important that you use adapter but don't forget you know while you have the adapter with you also have a power bank a power bank it can be used like for example it's, it can be used even if you're on a bus where there's no plugs anywhere to plug your phone you can just plug your power bank and charge your phone within five minutes so it's very very important that you have a small power bank with you as well now we're talking about language don't be scared don't be nervous you only need a few language skills to blend in, in to be like parisian in france france is amazing it's one of the unique countries in the world but you have to blend in you don't want to be a tourist in paris look for example you know merci thank you it's very very important so guys stay tuned let me give you some tips some basic language skills that could help you in france paris ça coûte. Combien ça coûte? did you get that combien ça coûte? Combien ça coûte? it simply means how much you know asking someone combien ça coûte? like how much the item or coffee or the food is guys it's so much easier you know even though the bill is on the table but asking them that guys you're blending in already you're blending in and you know then they'll tell you the price all you have to do in respond is merci thank you another one is je m'appelle je m'appelle my name is je m'appelle emmanuel that's my name so my name is emmanuel je m'appelle emmanuel guys these phrases make sure you memorize them there's few more i want to give you some ideas like some few more i want to give you like this this these phrases are used every day in parisian culture like in a restaurant everyday life you hear people saying these words all the time so make sure you remember these phrases well let me play some of the pronunciation for you in front in french stay tuned je m'appelle je m'appelle je m'appelle je m'appelle je m'appelle so that's je m'appelle is my name is my name is my name is julian my name is saint my name is Clinton. My name is Emmanuel. Je m'appelle Emmanuel. Je m'appelle Clinton. Je m'appelle Julian. Se trouve les toilettes. Où se trouve les toilettes? 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 Where is the bathroom? Where is the toilet? Où se trouve les toilettes? Où se trouve les toilettes? Make sense. These phrases are very, very important. You know, like using the bathroom. You know, just imagine telling someone, "Where's the bathroom?" They don't speak English, but you saying these phrases make them want to help you. It's very, very important. So there's a final one that you also need to memorize or practice often before you get to Paris. Stay tuned. While you're watching the video though, please consider liking the video and also subscribe if you like videos like this. It's very, very important for the channel to grow, you know, because I just thought, you know, I do something like this to help someone. You know, somebody might be traveling all nervous, but this video will help them, you know, make their journey to Paris or to Olympics amazing and they will enjoy just by watching this video. And there's another one that uh, you see everybody use. Like, 
you know like in the UK we say hello hi you know in France they say salute 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 the only saying is hi hi it's salute you could say bonjour but it's salute a lot of people say salute if you say salute it's pretty saying hi it's not rude to say salute or chante very pleased to meet you very nice to meet you or nice to meet you if you want to put it that way or chante i don't know if my french accent is any better but or chante i'll try to play it in the french accent for you to hear Ocean, 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 but they will understand. It depends, they know you know French, but you're trying to speak. Ocean, that's French accent. Ocean, 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 nice to meet you. Anglais, parlez-vous anglais? Parlez-vous anglais? Parlez-vous anglais? Anglais is English. Parlez-vous? Do you speak English? Parlez-vous anglais? Parlez-vous anglais? Or you could just say salut if they respond. They say parlez-vous anglais? Hiya. Do you speak English? Salut. Parlez-vous anglais? Guys, these amazing phrases will help you navigate or blending in France, Paris. You know, these are just my top tips for you. You know, things that you could do to, you know, to blend in. You know, the city is so big, it's so amazing. And for my top tips for you, there's so many restaurants in France. Oh, you can walk in and have a coffee. And always remember, you know, French are straight in your face, you know. So if you order stuff and it's not coming, just ask for it you know we in England we are so polite we always say please it's nice to say please but you don't have to wait 30 minutes for all your coffee to come guys ask them and also guys don't forget Paris is known for pickpocket it's known for pickpocket do not look like tourists do not have those backpacks you know try to wear that clothes you know blending like Parisian you know blending guys it's amazing to blend in whatever you are because if you look like tourists with a basketball hat or baseball hat with your backpack with your man all those uh, ways back uh, ways bags guys you will be attracted to this big pocket i'm not saying you shouldn't wear your backpack but you know do not look like tourists do not carry a map holding and walking on the street you attract so many pickpockets yeah you have your phone you have maps on your phone sit somewhere you know sit in a corner check your direction on your phone you know ask people well guys i hope uh, this video is very very useful for you it's just a quick 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 video i went to paris i have to cut my trip short because of some summer uh, euro star but hey i managed to get home in time i wish i'm still in paris watching the games but you know that's what you do when you're traveling sometimes you have to sacrifice and i was there for the opening ceremony it was amazing blending in you know i was with a friend who came from brazil you know i just want you to enjoy this video like paris gardino is huge it's one of i think the biggest train stations in the world and it's so busy like let me just show you a quick video when we arrive in paris how busy it was so you can imagine on a busy day you'll be stressed but this video should guide you you should not be stressed you should not be scared i hope uh, yeah i hope this video give you idea what it's like to arrive in paris garden well thank you so much if you did enjoy this video consider liking the video and also subscribe if you're not subscriber you know guys thank you for those my amazing subscribers we hit 28,000 you know we want to hit 50,000 as soon as possible so if you do enjoy the content we create on the channel please consider sharing the content with your friends and family i hope you enjoy paris merci thank you au revoir